in order to understand the biological function of the DNA molecule, we need to first understand its composition. In the previous slide, I said that DNA is a polynucleotide, which means it is made up of multiple mononucleotides. In simple words, just like a polymer, which is made up of multiple repeating units of monomers, a DNA is a polynucleotide made up of repeating units of monomers known as nucleotide. Now, each nucleotide is made up of three key things, a sugar, a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. In case of the DNA molecule, the sugar is a 5-carbon sugar or the pentose sugar known as deoxyribose. The nitrogenous base can be divided into two categories, purines and pyrimidines. The purines are larger than the pyrimidines because purines have two ring structure and pyrimidines have only one ring structure. The examples of purines include adenine and guanine and the examples of pyrimidines include cytosine and thymine. The nitrogenous bases are always attached at one prime carbon of the sugar. The phosphate group are always found in between 5 prime carbon of one sugar molecule and 3 prime carbon of the neighboring sugar molecule. DNA exists in the form of a double helix where the two strands of the DNA are intertwined into each other and that they are connected via bridges. Just like a spiral staircase where the two sides are intertwined into each other and in between they are connected with the help of stairs. Each nucleotide, as said, is made up of a sugar, phosphate and nitrogenous base and these nucleotides that make up the DNA are attached to each other with the help of phosphodiester bond. The sugar in the DNA molecule is known as deoxyribose because it has a missing hydroxyl group at the 2' prime carbon of the sugar molecule and thus the nucleotides in the DNA molecule are known as deoxynucleotide. The double helical model of DNA molecule was proposed by Watson and Crick in 1953. They stated that the DNA molecule is composed of two anti-parallel polynucleotide DNA strands that form a double helical structure. The backbone of the DNA molecule is made up of sugar and phosphate and this sugar and phosphate make up the outside of the helix while the nitrogenous base forms the inside of the helix. The hydrogen bonding between the nitrogenous bases on the opposite strands is responsible for holding the two strands of the DNA together. In each helical turn, which is around 3 to 4 nanometer in length, there are approximately 10 nucleotide base pairs. Nitrogenous bases that form base pairing are very unique. They are not just random. The adenine nitrogenous base always pairs with the thymine and similarly the guanine always pairs with the cytosine. These ATGC associations are known as complementary base pairing. For future videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Node of Biology.